Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video we are going to be opening lots of stuff for the ferrets. Um, this is going to be a two part video. This is going to be the first part. Um, I have some stuff that didn't get here yet so I decided to go ahead and open what I did have and then we will do the rest in the next video. So this is kind of my 2000 subscriber celebration although by the time I think at the time I'm posting this I think I'm a little bit over 2000 subscribers. I think I'm closer to 2100 but whatever. Um, thank you guys so much for all of your support. I am so grateful and just happy and it's awesome. Um, so I'm just going to jump into the video. Basically what I did was I went out and I got the ferrets and stuff from the store and then I also ordered several things offline. Specifically I ordered ferret mystery boxes from anyone who sold them. So right now I have two and then I have some other ones on the way. I want to look at all of them. It is not a review or a judgment. I simply just wanted to have them. In addition, um, I want to support my fellow YouTubers. So some of these boxes came from other YouTubers and I will put the names in as I'm opening those boxes. Um, one of those boxes will be in the next video, but it's going to be super awesome and let's just do it. All right, so we have some stuff in here. This is my bag of stuff, and um, the ferrets clearly have already decided they were gonna get into it. So, geez. All right, let me pick this up. Whoa, all right. All right, so they're going crazy down here. Okay, so the reason that I got a bunch of stuff for the ferrets is because without the ferrets, we wouldn't have the channel. So, they are benefiting from this 2,000 subscriber celebration because it is all about them. So the very first thing I got them was a new um, tray. This is just gonna go where the water food bowls go upstairs and I'll show you guys when I put it down. They needed a new one. This is hard plastic and I really like it because it's easy to clean. So there's that, exciting. Um, the next thing I got them was, this is a new ceramic glass bowl. So that's gonna go for their food. And here's the cool part. Okay, you guys ready? All right, I got them. This is awesome. It is like a hut. I think I'm gonna try to put it in their cage. Basically, it sits on the floor. So here you go, guys, look. Come here, baby. All right, let's see. Show everybody. <gasps> there you go. You like it? What is it? You like that, huh? That's Mama got that from the store. Oh, it's super cool. Let's see if we can see it. Oh, there you go. You like it? Oh, you can sleep in that. Mama's gotta take the tag off. I'm gonna cut it off, okay? What do you think? You like that? Mama's klutzy. Here, let Mama's big klutzy butt move. What do you think? Look, you like it? You're so cute in there. I should've got two of these. This is great. And you can wash this. It's like washable. Um, It's all, let's see. It's woven, hidden, hide out. It's pretty cool. It comes from our local pet store. So that's that. They seem to like it. What are you doing in there? What are you doing in there? Let's look at you. You're so cute. All right, let's open up. Let's do, I'm gonna stop the video. We're gonna open up this mystery box. For you. All right, so the next, this, this came, this is a ferret mystery box. This is from, um, I'm not gonna show the front because it's got her address on it. This is from my friendly neighborhood ferret. So we are going to open this now. Let's do it, I'm so excited. Come on, come here. Come here. Babies. Now I want you guys to know that this comes from Canada. I'm in the US, so it got here all in one piece. It looks amazing. Um, it's, it comes in this cute little box. And let's get the rest of these, these babies. Come here. Come on, babies. Come on. Ready? Ready? Here we go. Here we go. Look. <gasps> here we go. All right. Wait, let mama see first. Let mama see. You guys gotta just see. Okay, so I'm gonna try to open this stuff up, but they are taking it out. Are you taking it? Are you gonna take it? Are you taking it? Let's show everybody what it is first. Okay, come here. Let mama have it, let mama have it. All right, so whatever is in this box, they clearly like. Let's look at one at a time. 
the very first thing we got is a little dinosaur. That's what they were trying to steal out of here. So this is super adorable. Um, I need to go get some scissors and cut this off. So I will do that now. Hold on, please. There we go. So we got this little dinosaur. We're going to cut this off because that's what Ruby wanted. Ruby, come here. Come here, Ruby. Here, baby. Ruby. Here, Rube. Oh, you really did. Look at you. You can't get up on the table. Here. Let's show everybody. You want this? This what you want? Let's show. Let's show them how you like it. Well, you got that? Oh, then it's gone. Okay. Well, I'll have to dig that out later because she just took it to her hiding spot. Okay, let's try another one. All right, let's open this. Come here. Come here. Come on and see it. Okay. Okay. Two things. Two things. Okay, real quick before... Here's, um, this is a dehydrated chicken foot, which they can actually eat, and this will be awesome for them. Let me see if you guys can see that. Getting this camera to focus is fun. So there's that. And then this is just like a toy. Um, this is a keychain with a ferret on it, which will go on, this is for mommy. Mommy gets to put this on her keychain. There's that, and it's, um, it looks... It's so cute. Okay. And then, wait for it. There's this. And I think you put treats in this, is my understanding. And then they um, dig the treats out. So that's super cool. Here, guys, look. Look. Come here. They want to play in the box. How's that? All right. Here you go. See? Look. This is, this is typical ferret. This is a typical ferret. And then there is a little saying. There's like a thing on here. I'm going to read it to you guys while she plays in the box. It says, your Duke box includes one handmade ferret sort of scavenging mat. You put your ferret's favorite treats inside the pockets of the mat and you let them figure out where they are. One multiple one multi -pet, pet dinosaur toy. I'm reading this. Thank you. Um, one dehydrated chicken bones. They're not brittle like cook bones, where cook bones would splinter and cause a choking risk. Dehydrated bones break and will not. My ferrets normally can't get through the ankle of the chicken foot, but they have a good time gnawing at it, the toes. Supervise them when they are chewing on the chicken foot, just in case. And one dinosaur keychain. And then we got Andromeda's pick, which is one dinosaur shaker toy. For your ferret safety, the toy has been glued shut. All right. Look at this. So, oh, look at you. So smart. You so smart. I didn't even put the treats in it yet. You want the, I put the egg in there. And she's trying to get the egg out, you guys. So I didn't put treats in there. I put that egg in there that rattles. And now she wants to get it out. Look at you. You good girl. Look at you, good girl. Good job. You so smart. Here, here, come here. I'll hold it still. Oh my gosh, Bubba. You can't get it, Mama. Oh, you got it, girl. You got it out. Good girl. Good job, baby girl. Good job. All right, you guys. So I'm going to put freeze-dried turkey livers inside of these little pockets. Gucci. So I know you guys know who she is. I She's kind of popular. I've heard her name a couple of times. Actually, I first really heard about her when I was doing the ferret giving tree. I mean, I had heard about it before, 
But anyway, she's kind of popular. She does those squishy beds. Um, anyway, we got the Isabella Gucci. Uh, let's see, this is a Duke box too. So let's open this up. All right, oh, don't fall, weasel clean. Come here, Bubba. All right, let's see, let's open this up. Here you guys, come here. All right, so, sorry you guys, um, I had camera issues. So in this box, we got lots of little toys. We got this little toy. Woo! Let me get this. So she loves this. This is a toy that came in there. Hold steel so they can see. And she wants to play with it real bad. So well, I'm gonna let her have it for a second. It's this. There we go. It looks like this. And she really wants this. Here, Bubba, come here. Come here, baby girl. Come here. All right, so this was in the box too. That's for me. You hang that on their cage. We got um, a paw print, like a necklace, like a keychain. We got uh, two of them actually, so that's cool. We got these, all these little toys. You got um, this little dinosaur guy was in there. I don't know why my camera's being dumb. Got this. Um, we got this little monster guy. This was a specialty box that she had, so I got it. Um, then there's this one. Just wait for my camera to focus. Here you guys, sorry. And then there's this one. There is this little toy. These are hard plastic, but I would not leave your ferret alone with these, honestly, if it was me. Um, I just would not do that. So I would not let them play with that unattended. Um, and then there's this. She, I think blankets always, you got fuzz on your nose, look, here. And then um, there's a blanket that's really soft. This is minky fabric, and this is um, also looks like minky fabric. So this is a really sweet blanket, and she has these cute little stitches in there, and anybody who sews, I don't know if you guys can see that, but I just wanna show you her stitching, cause it's adorable, and you know I sew. This is so cute. Okay, so then there's this. <laughs> in their cage because it's not that big and I just put like a little blanket in there and then their hammock is kind of hanging in front of it but they don't seem to mind because they sleep in all of this they still love that basket like so much but I thought that'd be cute so I just left that there I put this blanket in there and then this is the, the full thing that I got them right so um the ferrets really seem to like everything they are have taken all the toys and went and hid them so i'm gonna have to go around and get them all because they don't normally play in the living room so they're gonna probably want to play with them upstairs um some of the plastic ones even though they're hard plastic i won't leave them alone with neither will i leave them alone with the chicken foot but that's okay because um the boxes clearly say like don't do that so that's good um these are adorable i actually may buy more um because i do know that um my neighborhood friendly ferret and um isabella gucci changed their boxes monthly so if you really want to get any of these boxes um they change monthly i don't know i know isabella gucci has subscriptions um where you can get like six months at a time and i'm not sure if my my friendly neighborhood ferret does that i didn't see that option but that doesn't mean that you couldn't buy a box every month so i'm gonna put links to both of those in the description i'm also gonna put a link to um, my friendly neighborhood ferret above me you should check out her youtube channel it's super super informative she's got lots of information the most adorable ferrets ever and um super awesome box so i will definitely be buying more maybe from both but for sure from my youtube family friends because um i don't know i just have a soft spot for my youtube family and so i don't know that's how i feel anyway we will see you next time